Carly is just an amazing young lady. Um, she's very strong-willed. She doesn't vocalize in words very much, but she is very clear what she thinks about things. And she is very determined that she is going to do what she can do to the best of her ability. And I have to admit, she's one of the most strong-willed kids that I've ever met. So Carly is eight years old. She was meeting all of her mile markers and everything all the way up until four years old. Um, and then she got an ear infection that triggered a fever that triggered her disease. So by the end of 24 hours after that triggered, she basically was like paralyzed completely. She was no longer able to talk. She couldn't walk. She couldn't even sit by herself. So dramatic deterioration in her motor system. From the time it happened, from the time that we got the diagnosis was about a year. It was absolutely scary, especially when we had no idea what was going on or we had no idea like even what her future held at that point. So it was absolutely terrifying for sure. And then we got with Dr. Stucco and Dr. Polin and they did the genetic test. Her um, studies did not suggest anything inflammatory at the time, so I started digging some more. We were able to find that she actually had a genetic predisposition towards what's called rapid onset dystonia. Dystonia is a very challenging disorder, basic muscle uh, patterns that for the rest of us, we wouldn't even have to barely think about, we just do automatically become extremely challenging for these patients. And we actually discovered her dad had had the same thing when he was young and carried the same gene. So her dad had a very serious thing happen around the same age. He was actually a little younger than she was. Um, and fortunately, he recovered. Carly had tried many, many different medications and we're never going to stop pursuing if new medications come out. But for many patients, we do not get the improvements we want with oral medications. So these surgical options may be the only options they really have. The Movement Disorder Clinic is really fantastic in that we bring experts in the field, no matter which institution they work at, coming at it from several different angles, physical medicine, neurology, neurosurgery. Bethany Children's Health Center holds a great abundance of clinical research uh, material that, um, that we need to, to leverage um, so that we can discover um, the next best treatment for, for these kids with uh, movement disorders, seizures, uh, spina bifida. The whole goal was to improve uh, Carly's quality of life. Medications alone uh, didn't lead to any durable relief of her movement disorders, so uh, deep brain stimulation was thought of. Deep brain stimulation is um, where we place a very tiny electrode into a very deep region of the brain that is malfunctioning. And then we send a small electrical impulse and help the brain get the communications through to the other parts of the brain more efficiently so that in the case of uh, a child with dystonia, they are able to control uh, volitional movement better. And after long discussions and probably a lot of prayers, I think this family decided it was the right direction to go. So it was like trying to decide if we thought that the surgery would be worth the risk or, but I think anything to give her her best shot. And she thought that it was, she wanted to try it. So she was pretty persistent on it. It's definitely more helpful when the doctors, like they have a lot of insight, they go over everything and like over and over again, they answer my questions super well. I and mean, of course, Dr. Stoko has been really helpful and it's really nice to have doctors that actually care and know what's going on. They split her surgery up into two different surgeries. They did the one where they put the leads in her head and everything first. So in the, this particular case, we were able to do that with a robotic placement. It was the first time that a robot was used to place uh, DBS in a child. Not only in the state of Oklahoma, uh, not only in the, in the US, but worldwide. It means that we have an effective surgical treatment uh, that's very accurate and very safe. 
uh, for kids that may not have had uh, another option. That's what's kind of unique about Carly's case is that both of those technologies coming together married um, for better results is what we're doing here in Oklahoma. And it's exciting that we're leading the edge on what's happening in the world of deep brain stimulation as well as robotics. What does that mean for you and your family? Well, it's kind of a big deal for sure. It's like it was really also nerve wracking when we found that out. Um, but I think it's kind of neat to see where everything goes and because it can help a lot of people later as well. We were able to turn the device on and we were able to actually see improvement in the room where um, normally her arms are kind of up and where she can't control them kind of out to the sides. She was able to put her arms down by her side, which was actually a very big victory for her. She walked out of the clinic with that, that very first time we turned it on. We can turn it up or we can turn it down as needed. If we feel like she's been extra tight, we can adjust it to however we need to move things around. We go slowly and make sure she feels everything she needs to feel before we go any further. And Dr. Stucco does the big movements here in the office. She's continuing to do a lot of aggressive physical therapy, occupational therapy, trying to take advantage of the new gains that she's getting. Her arms used to be like really locked up to the point we would put socks on her hands because they would like leave little scratches and stuff all over her neck. Well, since we've gotten that put in, she's not like soupy, she's super loose. She has more of ability to like loosen them up and let them hang so they're not always locked up. Um, she's even used her voice a little bit more. Of course, it's still distorted here and there, but we can make out some things for sure that she's been saying. So there's definitely have been some improvements from even when they just turned it on and everything. She's adapted so well, I think she's gonna have a great future for sure.